Hey, Fragrance Family, I'm David. I'm Jer! And we're the Fragrance Bros! Coming out again with another review with guest host Jer. Thanks for coming on again. Yeah, man. And today we are reviewing Citron d'Erable by Atelier Cologne. Yeah. All right, so for full disclosure, Atelier Cologne gave this to me for review, so we are doing it now. Yes. Doing it. I have a uh, full view uh, unboxing of the box and bottle if you want to go look at a closer look of that, so you can go watch that. All right, so let's get straight to it. Date introduced is 2016. It's classified as a woody aromatic. Notes are lemon, mandarin orange, Sichuan pepper, maple sap, black currant, eucalyptus, maple, sequoia, and cedar. What a weird list. I know, yeah. it's strange. Yeah. Now, what do you get of longevity out of this? I got great longevity. I got probably, man, it was eight hours plus, probably, yeah. probably more around nine or 10, I would say. It lasted a long time. Yeah, me too. Long it lasted a long, yeah, a really long time. Yeah, this really was like in the average range for most fragrances yeah. in general. So yeah, I got about eight to nine hours. Yeah, consistently. Yeah. Uh, what about projection? I wouldn't say excellent. I would say about average. Yeah, didn't push out too far. Probably where yeah. I wanted to be. Yeah, exactly. I totally agree with that too. Mm -hmm. In the average range for me, mm -hmm. um, some Atelier Colognes that we've tried, like the the mainstays of their line, yeah, which are really citrusy, kind of sit really close. Sure. And this sits more like just a regular fragrance. Yeah, man. Which I thought was really good. Hit their so, stride. Yeah, ex exactly. <laughs> yeah. Season, I think this is great for spring, summer, and daytime. Mm -hmm. And purpose, I say this is great for casual and work. I think it works for fall all right, too. I wore okay. some cooler weather, and it seemed to cut through enough to really work there, too. So Yeah. All right, so what does this remind you of? A few things, honestly. So my, my first thought when I smell this is it reminds me a bit of Atelier's Vetiver Vital. And okay. not because it's like a super close clone, but there's a, a similar dynamic going there where it's like bright and fruity opening uh, woody undertones. Yeah. Right, and and the, the fruits, I know in, in Vetiver Vital, I think it was like plum was the big thing there, right, if I remember correctly. Yes. With some maybe some citrus too, but I think plum was the thing. Mm -hmm. So it's not here, but the fruits are close enough to me that it reminds me of that. Maybe um, a bit more feminine. I want to say it's super feminine, but a, not quite as masculine for some reason. Yeah. That note list is freaking weird. Yeah. <laughs> but in a really good way. Yeah. Right. So some of the other fragrances that we reviewed before that had like really off the wall notes lists, I kind of hated because I think it went in weird territory. To me, they nailed it on all these notes because it's got this blend, uh, it's got this um, combination of like a great blend, yeah. but also there's enough um, separation between the notes when you smell them, I can pick them out, mm. which is not a common thing for me. My nose is not as refined, so a lot of times I can't get that stuff, but to me, I was smelling those citruses, yeah. smelling that, whatever that mapley smell is, some sort of woody kind of thing. I don't know what yeah. maple sap smells like, but you know, yeah. smell the pepper in there, a lot of different things. I was just picking it out and they would all come up at different times and all good, all great. Yeah. Man, really nailed it on this scent. Yeah, this scent is so good, man. Yeah, it's freaking good. You know, like you said, the notes are really weird. Yeah. And when I smelled this, I, you know, I was expecting it to smell kind of on the weird side. Yeah. But then you smell it and it's like, wow, this is so likable. Yeah. I like what you say about how you can kind of pick up some of the notes there. Um, and it is really blended really well. I didn't really get much of the note distinction okay. as you did, but I did get a couple. Yeah. Right when you spray it, this like mandarin orange, yeah, like really, really nice mandarin oranges. Mm -hmm. And my kids eat mandarin oranges all the time. You know, like the canned mandarin oranges that yeah. you can you can get. So they eat them all the time. Really sweet. And whenever I sprayed this on here, immediately reminded me of that. Okay. So there's a, a really nice succulent. Uh, there's a there's a nice word. <laughs> 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 Thank you. <laughs> it's a moist, succulent morsel. <laughs> but yeah, so it is like a succulent, um, juicy, <laughs> bulbous. I'm, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to look at you. You go right ahead with whatever adjectives you want to run with. Great start. Yeah. Great citrus start. Yeah. And then after that, uh, the citrus tones down after a while. Yeah. And then it kind of morphs into like this sweet, uh, it still stays on the, the fresh fruity side. Yes. Um, and it's on the sweet side. It is. And then it transitions into kind of the, the woody base. Mm -hmm. When I saw maple sap, I was thinking, is it going to smell like maple syrup? 
and it doesn't smell like maple syrup. So I don't really know if there is a maple sap type of smell in here, but yeah. I will say that as it dries, it gets almost smoky. Yeah. And so I know maple has a, a kind of a smokier type of smell. Okay. So there could be that. It could also be the eucalyptus. Yeah. Because eucalyptus has like a, a camphorous type of smell. Mm. And so that together with that could almost have like that, that undertone of that smoky quality in here. Right. And when I say smoky, it doesn't it, it doesn't smell like soot. Right. It's just like if you were to if you were to smell it way far in the background, yeah, it kind of whispers and lingers here and there. It's right. in just the right amount, I think. Yes. And then it all just kind of blends really well from start to finish. Yeah. And just transitions extremely well. Works really, really well. It it, it is to me a very sweet fragrance. It's sweet throughout. Also forgot, I, I do get some black currant in there okay. in the mid. Okay. And that kind of has like a, um, that adds to like the juicy quality, mm -hmm. but it also makes kind of a slight bubblegum overtone. And so I think in, in a strange way, like if you really like um, One Million, shame on you, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think if you want like an upgrade to that, you could do this and it's a lot better. Yeah. And I do agree with you about the scent. I think men and women could wear it. I would wear this and really like it. Yeah. It's unisex, but then it just skews just a little bit more towards women. Yes. I, think. I was going to, yes. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it does. I, you know, there were times where I wore it where I would pick up the smokiness and be like, this is, there's a masculine thing, like a pepper. Sometimes yeah. I'll get that. And then other times I was like, I smell just a little girly. And then the moment where, where it went just, just east of, of unisex to me, was when I was wearing it and I thought, my wife has a fragrance that smells kind of like this. It was a Britney Spears fragrance. Oh, wow. Yeah, it doesn't smell just like this, but there yeah. are a couple notes that resonate. And, when, and then once I caught that, it was hard to let go of my mind. Yeah. So then I didn't want to wear it quite as much. I still think it's infinitely wearable for both genders. I just think that you are going to be a little more on the feminine side. Yeah. yeah. Probably doesn't, doesn't bother most people, but just know that. Yeah, it's the, the fruity sweetness of it that right. kind of evokes that. Yes. Yeah. Um, I also think this reminds me somewhat of Pulp by Byredo. I forgot all about that fragrance. You're right, it does. Yeah, it has kind of a pulpy type smell. Yeah. Pulp had, it was kind of a little overripe mm -hmm. and almost on the sour side. Yeah. Um, which this is not like that. Right. Um, and it's not a clone at all, but it is in that type of same category. Yeah. But overall, I think this is a very sweet, uh, juicy, fruity scent. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it really retains kind of that optimism that Atelier has in a lot of their fragrances. And I don't know, there's just something like this happy about a lot of their fragrances. Yeah. I do get the connection to Vetter for Fatal, like you said, um, with that fruity, woody note. Yeah. This is just a really nice, complex scent. It's more complex than a lot of their line. Yeah. One thing I really like about Atelier, we've done this and said this before, I don't care, I'm going to say it again. I like the house because I like it when a house uh, has a theme that they kind of stay after and it gets better over time. Yeah. So their initial offerings were like the with the blah, blah blondes and the... Um, Orange Sanguine. Yeah, all those. And there were a couple of good ones in there, but I didn't love most of them. But they've gotten better over time as they've introduced more fragrances. Yeah. They've just gotten more complex... They've, they've still tried to kind of focus on a note, maybe two notes in this case, and then kind of flesh it out from there. And I just, man, I just, I feel like I'm watching the kid grow up a little bit. Yeah. And it gets yeah. better and better, smarter and smarter. And I'm just like, man, Absolutely. you are killing it, you know? So. Yeah. I was going to say the same thing. Yeah. They seem like they've just been killing it with recent releases. Yeah. Not all of them are good. Right. But they've been making some really good ones yeah. every single collection that they've been releasing. Yeah. So. And their line is getting, it's filling out in the right way. Yeah. It's not a bunch of like, filler songs like it's a yeah. you know a bunch yeah. of singles it's a bunch of good singles mm -hmm. in there all right so what about compliments Are you give me compliments with this i got a couple i got a couple i got one at work i got one from a friend that i was hanging out with um i think it just smells really good and i really enjoyed wearing it <laughs> you're right it's it's a happy scent they're a happy house they are but it, yeah. i just felt happy um it's a really uplifting just kind of enjoyable thing to wear yeah totally is uh my wife liked it mm -hmm. Um, always a plus. She thinks it's more girly. Yeah. So, you know, I, I understand what she's saying. Yeah. I will still wear this. Yeah. So. <laughs> right. Right. But I understand where she's coming from. Yeah. Thank for Buck. This is $125 for 100 mil, um, which I think is fair. Mm -hmm. 
that's a little above kind of like the average hundred dollars for hundred mil that you normally find on really high end mm -hmm. uh, designer scents. Yeah. Um, I think they're better than designer scents generally. Yeah. This does not come in the larger size, the two hundred mil. Oh. Their collection Azure, mm -hmm. which this is a part of, okay. is only a hundred mil. Okay. And then lower, I think. I think they have some other ones that are lower than that, but okay. 100 mil max. Okay. So, I so think, not yeah. the standard value, but it's still good. For me, I could see paying that to buy this for my wife. That's the way that yeah. I would see this going mm -hmm. in my in my wallet. Yeah, absolutely. I, I don't think it's unreasonable. Yeah. I would spend it. Yeah. So. All right. So final rating, what do you give this? I'm probably gonna give this like a five out of five. What? I think it's a really good fragrance. I don't yeah. think that I could wear it all the time, but that does not diminish its value to me. It's a really great yeah. fragrance. I love something that I think can work on both me and my wife. Mm -hmm. I have a few fragrances like that that we can share, and I, I just, personally, I love that. I think that's the coolest thing. Yeah. So, um, good value, great scent of the house. Cinco de Cinco. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a five out of five! He did it too! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! I didn't even see it coming. I thought you, you looked at me like, really? I thought you were gonna give it lower. Okay. Yeah, I fooled you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love this house. I'm a big fanboy of Atelier Colognes, yeah. as we've talked about before. Um, they're just a great house. Yeah. And this is a stellar scent from the line. Like I said, it's a great scent for uh, unisex. It's a complex scent, and yeah. it's just, uh, just a great scent overall. Yeah. Fresh, fruity, good. Home run. All right, so that's all we have. Let us know what you think of Citron de Rob down in the comments down below. Do you like it, love it, hate it? Let us know. And of course, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe down below. We'll love you for it. We'll see you next time. We're the Fragrance Brothers. Bye. Bye, guys.